So as Easter is on the approach, I thought I would do an Easter Bunny face paint for you all. I'm using a white face paint here and I'm creating a rounded triangular shape on the centre of the forehead and then I'm creating two mountain peak shapes just above the eyes. You can use any face paint for this. If you've got a really wishy-washy type one, just go over it a couple of times to build up the opacity. So we're going to make this really simple. We're going to map out the shape first and then we'll go in and do the detail work after. I'm sure tons of you have got loads of children to entertain this Easter, so hopefully this face painting will come in handy. So next we're going to paint a white line down the centre of the nose and then we're also going to cover the nose surface in that white too. What I like to do is wait for that to dry and then go over it all again just so it looks a little bit more opaque and you can't see the brush strokes. The next stage is to make the muzzle of the bunny. To do this I'm dragging my brush outwards from the corner of the nose and then going back on myself in a backward C shape just to meet the corner of the top lip. Then colour in between the nose and the top lip all in white and then we're going to create the same shape on the opposite side so out from the corner of the nose downwards creating a nice C shape and then back on yourself to meet the corner of the top lip. Paint the whole of the top lip in and then on the bottom lip we're going to create the teeth. I'm turning my brush on its side and just painting downwards creating a nice little block. Now we've got our white base colour down we're going to go in with black face paint on a fine little brush and we're going to draw in the features of the bunny. So I'm starting with the ears and I'm following the mountain shape we created with the white and as you can see I've created a little dip in the centre there like an M shape. This is forming the crease of the ear. Now we want to make it look like the ear flapped over slightly so the lines I'm creating here are going to give that effect. So I've drawn a line about a centimetre away from the first line we've drawn and then I'm swooping down from the top of that one to meet the outside corner of the M shape. This has created the flap of our ears. So you want to repeat the same process on the other side and just keep stepping back to make sure they're even. Use one finger against the head to counterbalance yourself and just make sure that you've got a steady hand. Now we're going to outline the muzzle in the black. So we're just going to follow that nice curved line that we created with the white. To define the teeth I'm using four simple lines one on either side of the white block, one through the centre and the bottom just to define them. To finish off shaping the ears we're adding two more lines in on each side. This is going to give us the middle section of the ear that we can paint pink. This next step is optional, I'm adding in a grey colour just to create a little bit of shading to the ears and around the muzzle. Adding a little bit of shading around this area of the muzzle will just make it look a little bit more puffy. I'm just flicking the grey colour outwards after I've created the line and then I'm going to go back in with a little bit of white that's mixed with some more water so it's wishy-washy and then go back over the grey and this will just soften the grey a little bit without completely wiping it out. Now I've mixed a little purple and pink together and I'm going to paint in the inside of the ears. And I'm going to take that same colour over the nose to create a nice pinky rabbit nose. Now using the black paint at the top of the forehead I'm going to make it look slightly furry. So we're going to create tiny little spikes and then using the white paint we're going to fill those in. We're also going to add a couple of those black spikes to the ears, again just to create a little furry effect. As I mentioned before, the shading is optional, it's up to you, but I've gone in with a dark purple just around the pinky part of the ears, just to give it more depth. Now I thought I'd have some fun with the whiskers and create some little curly ones. So I'm just putting my brush down in the centre of the white, dragging it out in one smooth motion to create a nice curl. Next I dipped the back of my brush into my black and just dotted that on the beginning of the whiskers. Then using the dark purple I just added a little bit more shade into the nose just to match the pinkness of the ears and the grey I added around the muzzle etc. You really don't need to be too neat about this, it's just for effect. So I decided to add some furriness to the muzzle as well like I did the forehead. So I'm just painting in some little black spiky bits and then we're going to go in with the white as well over the top so it blends in with the white muzzle. 
This is what I like about working with paint. If you make a mistake or if you want to add a bit, you can just paint over the top and then put white over the top or a colour and it would just work brilliantly. Now obviously you can do these at the beginning when you're making your white base, but I find it easy just to map out a basic shape and then go in after and do the detail work. To finish off the look, I'm adding a couple more whisker dots on the muzzle and then that's it complete. I'd like to thank my nephew Brandon for helping me and be my model. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful. Have a fantastic Easter and thanks for watching.